<laughs> we're on our way to Newport. Uh, we've actually been driving for a little while now. Um, we're almost there, but I haven't really vlogged because I'm just driving. So I just thought I would say hi really fast and tell you that we're almost there. It is so beautiful outside. Um, back in Portland, it's been really rainy and cold and gross outside, but it is um, bright blue skies right now, cloudy. It's kind of warm outside. The sun's definitely shining. So yeah, I'm really excited. We'll see you guys when we get there. We're in Newport. I don't want child. Okay. Okay. Seven. It'll be thirty-two ninety. Okay guys, we're at the aquarium, the Oregon Coast Aquarium in Newport. Um, we can't check into our hotel yet, so we are just kind of wandering around and seeing what's up. Okay. Look at his Nemo! Nemo? Look at he's right there. Uh, Look at up here. Oh, there's more of them back there. There's no names though. Look at him right there. Oh my god, he's so cute. Why oh, are you so cute? And it feels like someone's sucking my finger. <laughs> you can see this, this shell right here. You see those kind of orangey things that are yeah. right out? With your finger, just go in very slowly and just touch the edge of him. For people that are oh, close. did you see that? It hid. Where'd he go? I think it hid in the little hole right there. Okay, he builds a tube. You can see the tubes yeah. build out of uh, like clamshell material. And he lives in there. And that orangey stuff is how he catches his food. And there's another one right there if you want to sneak up on him. And just watch. He'll go right back in his tube because he thinks you're trying to eat him. The minute you touch him, he goes zip in the car. Are you scared? Touch him. <laughs> <laughs> no, Try he it. Won't, he won't I hurt like, you. He's, I just like the little one. The little one, one was cool. There's one there. It's great. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's so cool. Okay. Yeah. What about this guy right here? Just kind of scared. Gently yeah. and then you try and touch him. him. Yeah, it's tight. It's tight. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> That's really cool. I like that one. Wow. What do you think of that, Celia? Creepy. <laughs> it only has one eye. I sort of think it's creepy too. No, it has another eye on the other side of its head. done with the Oregon Coast Aquarium. It was actually really small compared to what I remember as a kid. I don't know. What do you think, Tilly? Did you like it? Yeah. The best part was when we got to touch little sea anemones and Mama, she touched the inside of the sea anemone and her hand got stuck. My I finger got stuck. <laughs> so they have a touch pool and you can touch the sea anemones like all around the side and I touched one and it sucked my finger in because like that's how so they hug your finger right and that's how they catch food like if a little whatever they eat swims into it then it like hugs them and then pulls it towards their mouth my finger got stuck it was kind of scary i don't know how i feel about it <laughs> um and we got these pictures oh can i see your picture yeah okay we got our pictures done <laughs> can you see it <laughs> I don't know. I thought it was fun. Um, it was a good trip. 
to the aquarium. I mean, I had fun. It was just, I was expecting a lot more. So when I um, went here as a child, it was when Keiko, do you guys remember Keiko? Maybe some of you are too young. But Keiko the whale from Free Willy, he lived here at the Oregon Coast Aquarium for a really long time before they set him free and then he died. Um, oh, the sun's in my eyes. But uh, so anyways, that's why we came here years and years ago when I was a kid. Can you even see me? The sun is so bright. Uh, and so now it's a lot different. You know, they don't have Keiko anymore. They don't have any whales or anything. Uh, so I don't know, it was they fun. They don't even have dolphins. They don't even have dolphins. It's an aquarium, what the heck? Just kidding. Uh, yeah, so we're gonna go try and check in early um, for the hotel. I don't know, check-in's not until four and it's like 2.30. So we'll see. Okay guys, I don't know if you can see me out here. It's kind of dark, but we're down. There's Tilly. We just ate dinner at Moe's restaurant. It's like a, a fish and chips house, right? So we're out here and we're right by the pier and we're at the beach and I guess there are sea lions because I'm standing outside here and I am hearing this like barking sound and it's yeah. like oh, oh, oh. yeah and, and it's, it's like... so loud and apparently we can do you hear it yeah Shh. oh my gosh okay sorry like I don't know if you can hear it but we're gonna go try and find it because it is so loud and it sounds like a bunch of dogs barking or something I don't know okay Maybe we're gonna go see it okay we're walking to it right now can you hear it? I'm gonna be really quiet. I don't know if you can hear with the cars driving by. <laughs> okay, I have never before been to a place where you can see sea lions on like a pier at all. So it is so weird to me that they are so loud. I bet you there are so many of them. Like it sounds, it sounds like there's a ton of them. Can you hear this right now? Oh, it's over there. Do you see them down there? Yeah. Okay, I see where we're supposed to go now, so we're gonna go down there. Oh my gosh. I think there's a lip here, like down here, they said, because I can see it from there. I asked the lady at the... that from years ago. Yeah. It's crazy. <laughs> It's so loud. Is it like a cruiser where people can <laughs> Well, go yeah, can you imagine if you lived right over here? Oh my goodness. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can see me out here right now. I'm sure that you can't even hear me. There are so many sea lions down on the docks below, and they are so loud that they're like fighting and stuff. It's insane. I wish that you could see them. We're gonna try and come back down here tomorrow so we can see them in the day. Tilly is really scared right now. How do you feel? Scared because they're scary when they go. They're so, ah! they're so loud. Good morning. Um, so we didn't really film anything of our hotel room. We're about to check out, but uh, we're gonna go spend the day on the beach. We had a pretty good night's sleep. I always have a little bit of trouble sleeping in uh, new places. How did you sleep last night, Tilia? I I had the funniest dream last night. Oh no! Don't tell us all about your dream. But it was, but but it still was good. And then. I got really scared last night because I, because I was thinking about the seals. <laughs> this is the view. Can you guys see out here? Not the view from our actual hotel room because we had a partial view. But this is Newport Beach. It's really nice out. It's so bright and sunny and blue. It's gorgeous.
Did you get it in there? Yeah. Okay. You love the sea lions? Yeah, I don't want them to get hurt by, by the thing because the thing they got scratched because they jumped on it too much so they got scratched so hopefully they'll be able to make a new one like that. Yeah, they're going to make a new dock for the sea lions. All right, let's go. Bye, sea lions. Okay, guys, we are done with the beach. We are headed home, and I thought that we would just do one last um, hello goodbye on here uh, and show you our fossils. So for those of you who don't know, I am a huge beachcomber. Um, what that means, in case you maybe don't know what that term means, it means that rather than going to the beach and laying out and getting a suntan or something, which you can't really do in Oregon because in the Pacific Northwest, it's pretty much always cold at the beach, even in the middle of summer. Um, but instead, my favorite thing to do since I was little is look for treasures on the beach. So look for agates, um, look for sea glass, pottery, um, look for fossils. This is actually fossil. This is the first time I've looked for fossils. Um, but there's lots of things that you can find on on a beach. I still haven't found a message in a bottle. Still holding out for that. <laughs> Someday, maybe I'll send one myself. But I wanted to show you. Um, we found a couple fossils, but this was the best one. And Tilia has one too. Here, hand me. Oh, Tilly wants to be in the video. Yep, she has one too. Um, and we'll just show you real fast. And it's been a really great trip. It's been really fun. Yeah. Yeah. It's been nice to relax. I kind of wish we went to Elizabeth Inn, but still, it's still good. Why Elizabeth Inn? Because in the magazine it said that the pool is always open and in, um, in case you don't know, Georgie's Beachside Girl, the pool and sauna wasn't open. Oh yeah. I don't know if I told you this or not, but when we checked in, <laughs> the pool and sauna and hot tub had closed down yesterday, which was when we checked in, for a week long maintenance and they didn't bother to tell us when I reserved the room it was really disappointing because we were really excited to use the pool and the hot tub and just relax um but hey i think that pretty much happens to everyone at least once in their lifetime of traveling so whatever we still had a lot of fun um okay here is the fossils this is the one i found we'll let it or no this is tilly's so it looks like a regular shell on top but when you flip it over it's all solid rock under here and it's it's essentially a shell fossil um my mom when she came here before found a ton of these in like the little swirls um swirl snail shells so look at this one this one's amazing my hands are really dry right now and you flip it over and it's all solid rock yeah i don't know i'm really happy that I found something. Um, it's hard to go beachcombing and not find something. It's really disappointing. So we found quite a few of these types of shell fossils, but none of them were as good as these. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this vlog. I'm not very good at this. I am really shaky with the camera and it's not something I normally do. So we'll see if it even turns out. But yeah, if you want to see more of these, let me know in the comments below. I hope you guys have a fantastic day. I love you. Bye. Bye.